Welcome to Barrel Proof. I'm Randy. Today's whiskey is Canadian Club 12 Year. This bottle was brought to me from my aunt and uncle from Canada on their last trip down. It's recommended by my grandfather, uh, so I'm super excited to try it. I don't get to see him a lot, and this is something he drinks on a regular basis. Uh, so that's why we have the decor difference, and we're going to give a big A to them, so leave an A in the comments for them. I've never had anything from Canadian Club, so I had to do a little bit of research. They have four whiskeys that they release, uh, one non-age statement, two age statements, and 100% rye. The rye has won all sorts of awards um, here in the U.S. and Canada, so if you've had that, leave your thoughts on it below. Let me know if I should grab it. I'm excited to try this, though, so we're going to get right into it. Uh, as I pour up, I'll let you know a little about the distillery that I found in my research. It's been open since 1858. Interesting. Uh, they only use three grains in all four of their mash bills. So, we'll see. Going in, going in deep now, guys. And girls, that was weird. So I had to cheat. I pulled some notes, uh, their tasting notes from the website. On the nose, they say it should be soft and balanced. Uh, a soft and balanced creamy with a fruity firm note. It's definitely soft. It's not get you in the face. It's, it's only a 40 ABV, so it's definitely watered down to the bare minimum for whiskey. Which isn't a bad thing, that means we're going more for a flavor profile than anything. It's not going to kick kick my ass or anything like that. But the nose is super mellow. I'm trying to see if I can place uh, like a creamy fruit. Okay, I, I get a sweetness. I definitely get a sweet, which might be the creamy. Definitely smooth and mellow, which is nice on the nose. Interesting. Okay. It, it was it was spiky to start. Spiky, spicy, like those really sharp notes. But it goes fast. It definitely it, it doesn't stay long. Interesting. Uh, now keep in mind this is a budget whiskey. I think it comes in under thirty dollars all over the globe. U.S. dollars. I, I know currencies differ. You're not going to pay 30 pesos for it, no matter where you are. What do they say? Okay, so for, for their tasting notes on the palate, they say uh, delicate spiciness, creamy vanilla, rich wood, and luxurious honey. So they use words like rich and luxurious. That doesn't mean much to me. I'm looking for wood and honey. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to tell rich wood from poor wood or luxurious honey from fabulous honey. I, I really am not sure. Talking about honey, though, I got it on the nose, which was weird. But maybe that's just a brain thing. Yeah, super weird. I'm getting honey on the nose now. Okay, I'm getting like a, ooh, okay. It, it, uh, a note came in on the end that was interesting. I was getting a lot of wood and then it, it mellowed into like a, a cream. I, I wouldn't say a vanilla, more like a caramel. It was like a salty, like maybe the wood made it salty. I see why my grandfather would drink this. It's very unique for a, a budget. So you don't need to spend money to have an enjoyable pour at all. Uh, a lot of whiskey snobs will think that if you pay anything less than $50 that it's cheap. And that's not true. I have a lot of 
uh, whiskeys like uh, Buffalo Trace and Elijah Craig that come in under $40 or $20 even that are enjoyable pours, and this is definitely one of them. I don't know if you can see the color in there. It's dark. It's very dark. But uh, this is the older of the age statements that they have. It, they have a 9-year uh, and the 12-year. Um, sorry, it's coming It's coming real late. Like uh, that woody, not, not rich wood, just wood. They say the finish should be butterscotch. I wonder if that's the carrot. Ah, no, nah, that butterscotch and caramel is not... Maybe they are. It's sugar? Just checking out the legs on it. Very, very interesting. Solid, solid. Let's see if I can open it up and get anything else to come out. So what are your experiences with Canadian whiskeys? Feel free to leave comments below. Um, I don't have a lot and I want to explore as many whiskeys in, from each of the areas of the world that I can. And there's more and more coming up. Like Texas whiskey has recently just been recognized as its own category, which is big cheers to them because that's awesome. To be able to have your own classification like this is the way we do it uh what is it kentucky and bourbon some people will argue that bourbon doesn't come from kentucky or bourbon has to come from kentucky i don't know i i don't understand all that that's just arguments to argue over but this is good uh so interesting little thing about Canadian Club that uh, I totally spaced on was uh, in the 1960s James Bond movie, Dr. No, Canadian Club and Soda is actually recognized as James Bond drink of choice. So that's something to make you feel a little fancy and badass when you're sipping on it. <sighs> I'm to finish the video. I don't have a good uh, cheers or slancha or ending because I want to ask you guys your favorite and leave them below because I want to, ooh, that was scary. I want to end the video with a new cheers every time or a new ending. Uh, just to spice it up, uh, keep it fresh every time. So let me know some of yours. We're going to get around to them. I hope you guys have a great time and stay tuned.